We're going to have a good time. Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at some gear from Tech Division. Now, I, actually, before we get going, have a look at this. Do you remember this? This was the Minion V1 from Tech Division that I reviewed oh so long ago. Uh, this was a very, very long time ago. Now, the guys have been back in touch and they've sent me on a couple of toys to play with and show off to you guys. Uh, the first one, if it works here, is going to be the flask. I'm going to show you this. Uh, I'll give you a lot more details and all the rest of it, but um, this is just to give you a quick look. And of course, you can go along to the Tech Division website. It's just tech-division.com and you'll get all this information there. So I've got this one to show to you and just grabbing another page here and you can see that we have a little baby one as well uh, which is a, an 18350 uh, and I've got a DNA30 inside of it. Now these are all as you can see here they're uh, oops, uh, SLS prints and uh, they're 3D printed bodies but if, if you go through the website you're going to see there's, there's so much they've got going on just now they really have gone for this side by side thing or SBS, as they now call it, big style. But, um, right, back to me. So yes, I, I do have two mods to show you here. I, have, I would recommend you go along to the website. There's so many variations that they have here. And the thing about them um, side by side, or SBS, is that a lot of the Tech Division mods are made for specific tank, well not specific tanks, but for accommodating different length tanks. So if you see one of the mods on their site that um you know it's basically you don't have any tanks that are tall enough uh, to go with that mod then have a look at some of the other mods because they are specifically designed for shorter tanks so have a look through the site and you'll see what you're looking for but uh, we'll do some close-ups now my flask turned up in uh, a big flight case with this it was all well protected inside with a tech division badge on here and inside this is what we have. Now, as far as I can tell, um, speaking to Milo, I think there's three different versions. Uh, this one that I have here, this is for accommodating big tanks. Uh, I think this is like uh, FEVs and things like that. I think it's like 61 millimeter version. There's a 41 millimeter version. And I think there's a, f the regular is 51 millimeter as well. So 41 for the shorter atties. You have, you know, obviously this bit's going to be different. There's three different versions. So don't worry if you think that this is too big. This is for big, beefy tanks. I would say that it's it's primarily designed for 23 millimeter atties, but I can, I've had a couple of 24s in here at a push. Uh, the only thing that goes against it for the 24s, uh, sometimes that I've found, is that on the print, and once again, this is a 3D printed mod, you can see see the polygons going on here. See how it's not just, you know, there's, there's edges here. See all those edges, these polys going on here? When it's printed, um, going forward, uh, speaking with them, I know they've had their software updated and future prints coming down the line will be rounded off. They won't have this polygon effect going on, which is a good thing in my opinion because it does detract from the body for me personally. It won't bother everybody, but it does for me. Uh, I'll also point out in here, see if I can show you this, will it show up? Maybe not just now, but there is, and I actually, because I didn't have my glasses on, when this first arrived, there was a, a little, there's a little nick here, but that's actually where the LED light is. You know, when you fire, you're going to see the LED light just in that little spot just there. We have a spring-loaded 510 down here. We've got a, a mod maker battery tube, and you can see, if I just undo this here. Once again, I'm using my wrong hand, so excuse me for any fumbling going on here. Uh, you can see that the, the battery, <laughs> so sorry, you can see the batteries are going positive down on here. And once again, and I always say this, it's always a, a pet hate of mine, there's, there's, there's no markings on here or anything telling you what the battery direction should be. I always think that a mod should show the direction for the battery. On the front of the mod, we do have a stainless steel plate here. This is a DNA 75C, which should be shown up there just now. 
we have our standard three buttons going on. We have our USB connected at the bottom. You can connect this to eScribe. You can charge through here as well if you want, but you know I wouldn't really recommend it. You're better off using an external charger. Uh, we do have screws for holding the plate in. I'm never a fan of this, but uh, I can see why they're on there. Turning it down at the bottom, uh, is that the right way? No, that's the right way. We have the, the Tech Division logo going on here. And I will say, even though I'm not a fan of the polygons here in, in the 3D print, uh, it's still a good print. Uh, I mean, like, once again, it's an SLS print uh, and it's hardy. Um, you know, on the bits that are flat, you know, the, there's no issues with the print going on there at all that I can see. And it, it's actually well done. Now, just giving you an idea of tanks. Now, obviously, this is a German steel vapor tank. This is a big tank. But once again, this is the you know, this bit's lower down on this f to accommodate these big tanks. There are the three different versions. Please don't forget that. You'll see them on the website. You can do things like this, however. Uh, I did mention this in another side-by-side -side review I did recently. This, you see the, the heat sink there? Uh, you can buy them for, oh, they're about four or five pounds from Amazon, or they're even cheaper from places in China. Uh, but basically that allows you to put shorter tanks on. Uh, so this is the Arch from Limelight. This is a 24 millimeter version, and you can see that's fitting on there no problem. But that allows me to use smaller tanks if I want to. Now, as far as it goes for the button location, what it's like to hold it, because remember you've got like that classic flask look going on there. See, you've got that going on there. And just show you in the bottom once again. So it, it, it is a classic flask shape. Also on this one, you're looking at a height of about 83.5 millimeters. You're looking about 65 millimeters across. And once again, you know, you're going to get like a 23 would be what I would aim for, but you can with some, you can get 24 millimeter atties on here also. Before I move on to the next one, I should say, uh, without a battery or a mod uh, or a, a tank, I should say, this only weighs 129 grams. It is a 3D print and it's as, it's as light as a feather. I will show you this also because uh, yeah, the guys do sell these as well. Um, these, remember this, this thing here, the Squonk Genius? Um, well, that fits on here as well. So if you're wanting a squonking mod, then, then this does the job. Just stick your RDA on top and squonk to your heart's content. It's actually, aside from the fact that this is stainless steel, um, gold, it doesn't look that great, but uh, a full stainless steel setup wouldn't actually be that bad. Now check, <laughs> this is so tiny. Check this little guy out. This height is, uh, it's 53 millimeters in height, 47 across. And once again, you're looking at the 23, 24 millimeters in here. They also do a cage for this. You'll see it on the website. So basically a cage that slots in here. And they also do an 18500 extension kit for it. But um, it's, once again, it's the SLS print. We have the same thing going on with the polygons here. That's going to be changed. We still have the Tech Division logo in the bottom. Mod Maker battery tube on this one. You can tell from the top cap here. Once again, we have no direction uh, stated. Uh, we have a USB port on the side. Up and down buttons, tactile little buttons here and here. And we've got the fire button here and a screen on the bottom. But I'll, I'll throw a battery in this. So there you see, I've got the, the Hassar Project X mouth to lung sitting on there. And it's so it's so dinky this wee thing it really is now please bear in mind i know it's a dna 30 but uh, you're using 10 amp batteries at best with this so yeah kind of be careful with that uh, firing position and the buttons and so on i'll talk about when we go back up top but um this this is i actually really like this i'm not a huge 18350 battery user these days uh, but this does appeal to me because it is so dinky and once again it's a DNA 25 or a DNA 30. Now these guys have been around for they've been around for a really long time and uh, I, I once again as I said at the start the, the, the first minion is one mod I wish I really still had because uh, it was serial number one uh, and it, it was a great side-by-side -side mod it, it was it was fantastic um, so it's nice to have something from them back in the shed. However, this time it's 3D printed gear. I will come out straight out at the start and say the fact that you've got the lines on the curves. It's not smooth. It's not smooth in the corners, if you like. Um, 
that does bother me. That does bother me because that's what I have in front of me. That is being corrected going forward. Um, so, but I, I, I'll list it as a, a, a con for me uh, as it stands right now. But yes, it's it's corrected going forward. Um, now, we'll start with the, the, the big boy, the flask here. It is wide. It's, it's a wide mod. There's no two ways about it. And my personal take on it is that I have big paws and I've said this in a live and, and, and I know Milo's probably sitting here watching this going off, oh, what an arse. Uh, but for me personally, uh, the way the curve is here, I, I would rather have the curve inside the palm of my hand and the firing button here. And so have this in here that would have worked better for me right-handed and left-handed because as it stands right now I, I can still thumb fire with both hands left or right-handed uh, but I and it's not massively uncomfortable but I just and I could be wrong I don't design mods I, what do I know um, but for me it just you know you can see the gap <laughs> I'm not showing that off very well you see the gap at the base of my hand there it just my hand doesn't fit into there. It's not as it's not as comfortable as I think it could be. I could be wrong. I could be very wrong, but that's how I feel about it. The three D print, uh, aside from the polygons, is, is solid. Uh, I mean, it is solid. I, I've, I've no issues with that at all. The fit and finish on it, and uh, it's very good. Once again, remember, there's there's three different versions, so it all depends on the size of tanks you're going to be going for. Now, obviously I've got a crazy setup here with the Squonk Genius and uh, a Dead Rabbit V2, but um, I'll just have a quick vape just now. And and I have been using this a lot. I've been using that a lot with the, the Arch uh, from Limelight. Uh, because it just it fits well on there and I, I think it looks good and yes uh, as always I'm not a fan of screws on face plates uh, but I understand why they're there the the buttons all work well with no issues at all on that front it, it's kind of hard for me to to pick any more holes in it outside what I've said um I like this mod and I like using it I just wish that the if this was here me personally I, I'd be much I would I would be giving this a, a, a thumbs up a big thumbs up um, the only other thing is is that um, obviously with the spring loaded 510 you depending on your air holes and so on you know you may end up putting a tank on this and the air holes facing in the way if it's a 24 mil it may restrict the airflow that's just something to bear in mind with any side by side mod it's just something to look out for I will say that um, I, they sent this on the Squonk Genius. Um, I, I think it's about twenty-five euros, and and it never appealed to me before. I, um, especially when you see people using them in mech tubes and things like that, they just seem silly. Uh, but on a side-by-side -side mod, um, I mean, it holds what is it about ten mil of juice or something? That doesn't, apart from the color, it uh, isn't crazy. It isn't crazy, and. And it's and squonking away with it is it's actually quite good. Now as far as its baby brother <laughs> goes, this wee thing, I, I just it's strange. Um, I've always found this over the years that when you get something small, uh, a smaller version of something, you automatically go, "Oh, it's brilliant." Um, this is just cute as a button. Um, I, I really like using this. Uh, it's kind of hard with my hand just now to, to explain, but I, I always end up using it with uh, my thumb here and once again, it's, it works fine left or right handed. Um, but I must admit, I'm quite frequently just picking it up like that because it's so small. Uh, once again, you've got the, you know, the 20, it's really 23 millimeter. That, that's the, on the website, that's what they specify, 23. 
I have been able to get some 24s, but it's really 23 mil. Uh, but you can see it's just stunning. Obviously, it's got the tactile buttons. They're never the prettiest thing under the sun, but they, they do work okay on this. And uh, I think that's aluminium they've used for the, the firing button there. Sure, I saw that written somewhere. Price-wise, I think this is about 114 euros for this little thing. You, you can get it, you know, obviously they're not in the UK, but they're still in the EU, so there's no import fees or anything like that. Um, I, once again, I'm going to say, you know, the fact it's got the polygons going round here, once they get that smoothed off, I would like this a lot more. You obviously have accessories you can buy, you can get a cage for it, I can, you'll see it on the website, uh, and you can also get an extension kit for 18500s. They really are Tech Division, are really, you know, there's a really good uh, Facebook group, uh, SBS, side by side. Um, go along there and, and they actually show off a lot of what's on the market just now for side by side gear. Uh, the Tech Division guys are quite prominent in there and you'll find a lot more information. I would suggest you go and have a look. So finishing this up, the compact, it's, it's the prints are good. The prints are very good, the SLS prints are very good. Uh, I've spoken about my hang-ups or my cons for them. Uh, I've told you about the flask, I would prefer the firing button on the other side. That's just me. Uh, other people that have it might say that that works perfectly and it's okay. So just don't go off my word. Go and join the Facebook group or, or have a read up and see what other folk are saying. Um, I apologise if this seems a little bit, not rushed, but maybe not, yeah, I'm. I'm off to the Hall of Vape in Hamburg and, and I'm trying to get as much done as I possibly can before I head off. But I strongly advise you go and check out the website for these guys. Uh, thank you to the Tech Division guys for sending these mods on to you guys. Until next time, bye for now.